not okay with our people, our sisters not being princesses. We not okay with our brothers being kneeled on their neck until they die and piss out on the street calling their mama. We not okay with that. Teach. We not okay with George Ford. We not okay with Breonna Taylor. Right. We not okay with that. We ain't okay with Cardi B twerking on TV. We're not okay with that. Bring it up. These are God's people, the chosen people. Right. Holy people, royal people. Right. Being put to death like roaches and rats. That's not okay. Right. That's not okay. So we're going to turn y'all back to who y'all supposed to be. Right. That's what we're going to do. Correct all things. So when y'all walked up, when y'all walked up, we was telling the sister, right? We was teaching my sister Zai how to love yourself, right? How to love yourself. All of us say we love the Lord, but we don't keep his commandments. So we got to get back to learning, okay, so what is it to love? Because we got to know the commandments to know how to love, right? So let's learn some commandments. Let's get the Sabbath day first and foremost. Exodus chapter 20. Because a lot of us, raise your hand, you come out of church today. You come out of church today, raise your hand. Everybody went to church, right? We think today is the Sabbath day, right? That's what we think, right? Right or wrong? That's what we think, yeah. right? Tanisha, my sister Tanisha, Jay. Tanika, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, Jalea, Carter, what's my sister here? My sister here. Mackenzie. Mackenzie, right? And we know Zai. We know Zai. Zai been rolling with us for a minute now. But so we gotta we gotta understand what the Sabbath is, right? And I'm gonna just jump straight to the chase. Cut straight to the chase. Today is the first day of the week, not the last day of the week or the Sabbath. Right, no. It is not. Sunday is the first. Do me a favor, because that's crazy what I just said, right? Pull your phone out. Everybody got a phone, no front. Yeah, I really do believe Sunday is the first day. Huh? I agree with you. Okay, you a little older though, sis. Okay. You know what I mean? And that's a beautiful <laughs> thing also, right? I'm Age is a beautiful thing if it's in righteousness. So when you take out your phone, go to the calendar, right? Go to the calendar. Go to the, it's okay, your sister's going to show you some love. Your sister's going to show you some love. Who had the calendar? She got the calendar. You got the calendar, right, Carter? Come here, Carter. Come, come closer. You got it? Let me see. Uh, Jalea, let's see. What, show me what's the first day of the week. What's the first one in line? No, no, no. You hit number two. Right there. What is that? Sunday is the first day of the week. Wow. And that's been on your phone. How long? Did you just do that? Did you just put that on your phone like that, sis? That's been that's on every calendar on earth. Bring it out. Sunday has never, never been the last day of the week. It has right. always been the first day of the week. It's also the first day of the week in your pocket on your phone. Right. So why are we worshiping the Sabbath on Sunday? Why are we doing that? Because we were scattered. And when we were scattered, we learned how to worship other people's gods or idols or paganism. That's not our custom. That's not our way. Come on, watch this. These are laws. These are laws. Come on. Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Come on. Remember the Sabbath day. So it said, remember it. Remember the Sabbath day. Why would it say remember it? Everybody was keeping the Sabbath day in the book of Exodus. Way back when Moses first taught it. So why he saying remember it? Because he knew that we were rebellious and we was going to go into captivity. And, we, and when we go into captivity... We're going to be given another man's religions, another man's God, another man's doctrines, right? He knew that. So he says, remember the Sabbath day. Remember the Sabbath day. Watch this. To keep it holy. Because a lot of people say, well, every day is the Sabbath. But it says, remember the Sabbath day and to keep it holy. What does that mean? Romans 7. What does it mean to keep, remember the Sabbath day and to keep it holy? To keep it holy. What does that mean? I'm going to let you know straight up. It ain't talking about that. 
Right. It ain't talking about that. And I don't care. Right now, we in South Carolina. I don't care where on earth I am. It ain't talking about no Christianity. It ain't right. talking about no Christian church. It ain't talking about nobody worshiping or so-called worshiping God on Sunday. But that ain't what it's talking about. Watch this. Romans chapter 7, verse 12. Wherefore the law is holy. Wherefore the law is holy. The law is holy. Remember, he said, remember the Sabbath and to keep it what? Holy. Holy. Remember it and keep it holy. Watch this. And the commandment holy. And the commandment holy. What God told us, y'all better do it. Y'all better do it or I'm a curse y'all. He said the law and the commandment are holy. Come on. And just and good. Those are what's just and good because a lot of people say, you know what? God know my heart. He know I'm a good person. I'm good. Yeah, no, I don't, I, don't, I don't keep the laws. I don't do that, but I'm a good person. Ain't that what we say? But God say the laws are what's good. Give me that in Matthews real quick. You can drop that. Give me that in Matthews. Well, Christ said the same thing. Christ said, don't call me good. I'm not good. It's only one good, and that's God in heaven. You know why he said that? Because the law says that. Bring it up. The law came from God. So he said, don't call me good. Call the Father good, because that is the law. That's where the law comes from. Watch this. Come on. Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. Now, this is, again, if you got a Bible, this is red letter, meaning Christ is speaking here. Christ himself. Come on. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? Now, that's a good question that the young man had to ask Christ. Yo, Christ, tell me how to correct myself, how to clean up my life so that I can have eternal life, so that I can go to heaven, so that if and when I die, right, I'm in your good graces. I'm on your good side, right? Come on. And he said unto him, why callest thou me good? So Christ said to the young man, why are you calling me good? Watch this. There is none good but one. He said it ain't none good but one. Let's see if he gave that credit to himself. Come on. That is God. That's God. That's God. That's God. You're only good and just and holy if you're keeping the commandments and laws of God. That's That's right. Those are the things that we must learn if we're going to call ourselves good. If we're going to look to do any good. Those are the things we got to learn. Go back. Exodus. What are we learning about? The Sabbath day. A lot of us just came out of the Christian church, but that ain't it. That's not it. All of that is fallacy. That's all lies. That's why we are destroyed. Come on. Exodus chapter 20 verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day Come on. to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. So it says six days. Y'all stay with me, y'all. Six days shall you labor and do all your work. Labor and do all your work in six days. What are we reading about? Don't forget how to keep the Sabbath and keep it holy. Come on. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. He says, but the Sabbath, remember, six days you work and do all your labor. You do all that then. But the seventh day, the seventh day, which is what? Saturday. 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 The seventh day is what? But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. That is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. That is the Sabbath. Not Sunday. Not Sunday. You're actually being taught opposite of God. God say worship it on the last. You worship it on the first. That's the exact, that's the polar opposite of what God said is what? Good. Right. Good. So what is that? Bad. It's as simple as that. That is bad. We got to come back to these things. Deuteronomy 28, 15. Bring we got to come back to these things if we're to think any good of ourselves. If we're to get back to loving ourselves, honoring ourselves. If we're to do anything, we got to correct all these sins, right? Come on, read this real quick. Verse 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Come on. But it shall come to pass, come on. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, Read. to observe to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, which I command thee this day, come that all these curses, that all what? All these curses come shall come upon thee come and overtake thee. And overtake thee. It's going to happen. Did we have any might in our hand when this was happening right here? Did we have any might in our hand? Could we stop? Who wanted this to happen here? Yeah, who wanted that to happen? Who enjoyed this ride? Who enjoyed this 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 uh this uh ride on the boat? Who enjoyed that? Who enjoys it when somebody bring that up and call you nigga? And you're like, what did he just say? Who enjoyed it? Just but do y'all enjoy it? No, y'all don't enjoy that, huh? Y'all don't enjoy that, huh? 
So we got to get back to what our what our God wants, because that's the reason this happened to us. That's the reason why we had no might to overcome this here. Still to this day, still to this day, we not free from it. Y'all think we free from this? We ain't free from this. No, no, we not. We not. Because you're still in sin. And I'm still standing here teaching you about your sin. That's why we're not free. That's why. Give me John 8.32. John 8.32. Because that day, my sister, is over. That day is over. That day is over. And I'm going to tell you something else. And I want you to take it just like I'm saying. We're going to take over this entire world. Yeah, and turn right. it back over to our Lord. Right. In righteousness. You can join or you can watch it happen. Those are the only two options for all Christianity, not just Christianity, all religions on earth. Because none of it is biblical. Right. None of our people belong in that foolishness. Right. None of it. It's all evil. All of it. It's all the reason why these things happen to our people. Bring it up. We don't like that. We don't like, we're not okay with our people, our sisters not being princesses. We're not okay with our brothers being kneeled on their neck until they die and piss out on the street calling their mama. We not okay with that. See? We not okay with George Ford. We not okay with Brianna Taylor. Right. We not okay with that. We ain't okay with Cardi B twerking on TV. We're not okay with that. Bring it up. These are God's people, the chosen people. Right. Holy people, royal people. Right. Being put to death like roaches and rats. That's not okay. Right. That's not okay. So we're going to turn y'all back to who y'all supposed to be. Right. That's what we're going to do. Correct all things. That's what we're going to do. Come on, read. John chapter 8, verse 32. Come read on. it up. And ye shall know the truth. And ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. And the truth shall make you free. Have our people known the truth yet? No. No. So are we free yet? No. No. We still suffer to this day because we don't understand what sin is. We're going to come visit you. But you got a flyer? Yes. You got a flyer? Good. So on the oh, back of the flyer... On the back, these are your kids right here? Um, this is my son. This is my pretend daughter. This is one of my twins. Y'all battle with homosexuality? Daughter. That's this what this is, is right other. here? What you mean? Do you, do you deal with homosexuality? You don't know. Let me give me Leviticus. <laughs> give me Leviticus. Today y'all think it's funny, but it's not going to listen. And I'm warning y'all because I love my people. What's your father? Let me. Where the sign? Come here, sister. Right here. You. Which, who are you on this side right here? What's your father? Come here, come here. We, I'm not going to bite you. Come close. Tell me who your father is on this side. Black. Your father is black. Puerto Rican. And Puerto Rican. Right. That means that you are an Israelite. That's that means right. that you have laws to keep, a way to be. And homosexual is not one of them. Do you understand what I'm saying to you, my sister? Huh? I know you don't like it. I know. I know you don't like it, but again, I'll ask the same question I asked my sister Zai. If murder is fun to me, how would you feel about that? How would you feel, Zai? I mean, um, Mackenzie. How would you feel, Mackenzie? Would you feel safe? Would you feel like I love my sister? Would you feel like? Would you feel like I'm holy? I'm godly? Would you feel like you got to accept me? No. Right. Right. So. So what you do, you be accepting me while you running away from me? And I'm chasing you to murder you? Come on, sis. Come on, sis. Use your noggin, sister. Come on. Watch this. You wouldn't accept that because you run from me. You run from me. And without these laws, see, which something that people think when they see men with Bibles, they think that we were born this way. They think that we always held Bibles and taught people the truth. They, they forget, they don't have, they have no concept that these men were probably monsters before they said, no, I have to change my life. Right. I have to repent from the wrong that I'm doing and do good. Do what's holy and pleasing in the sight of the Lord. And guess what? Teach my family and my people to do the same thing. That's people right. forget that because we holding Bibles. So we ain't talking to you about something we ain't, we ain't been through. We ain't done. We don't know how it felt on the other. We ain't talking to you like that. We're not talking like that. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom.
My familia is the 12. I'm going to tell you what you're supposed to do according to God. Come on. Leviticus chapter... It uh-oh. It's all praises to the Most High God. That's this right. is the gospel for our people, meaning good news. This is the good news for our people. Now you know what you got to do to make it to the kingdom of heaven. Come on. Leviticus chapter 18 verse 22. Read. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. You, you following? Was it Mackenzie? Mackenzie, you following what that means? Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind, right? Do you understand, Mackenzie? I'm not asking if you like it. Do you understand it? Read it again. I'll break it down for you. Come on. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. A butthole is not made for a man's penis. It's not made for that. So the Bible says the God who created man and woman, he says, I didn't make that to work that way. Right? That's what the Bible is saying. You tracking now, Mackenzie? I guess. You tracking. I know you don't like it, but you understand it. Listen carefully. Come on. It is abomination. It is what? It is abomination. It's against God. It's against him. It's against him, Mackenzie. Watch this. Come on. Virtual. That's it on that. All right. That's that's against God. I'm going to show you something else, Mackenzie. Deuteronomy 22 and, 20, and, and, and 5. Bring it up. I'm going to show you something else. And this more, goes for all point. my sisters. I got, right I got you. I got you. You got you to gotta know. I understand, sister. We ain't trying to. Right? No, it's not, it is very intriguing, man. All praise. All praise. So listen to this. I know. So my sister, I want everybody to gander, include my sister's eye, right? I want everybody, all my sisters, to take a gander at the young uh, Carl. Carlton. I mean, Car Carter. Carter. <laughs> take a gander. Take a look at Carter, Carter and my sister. What's your name? One more Stephanie. time. And Stephanie. Carter and Stephanie as we go through the word of God. Right? These are your, your, your doctoral uh, examples. I mean, your, Im your pictorial images. Your examples. Right? Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So it says, what's your name again? Jalea. Focus. How old are you? You 16? Yeah, you can focus good. Focus. How old are you? Y'all both, yeah, both of y'all can focus good. Pay close attention. Read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. The Bible says the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. My sister, Zai, is that what it say? Am I making that up? That's what it say, right? The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Good question. Exactly. God does. The one who created us does. Give me that in Leviticus. I mean, um, was it Exodus, Exodus 31 or 28, 31? 28 and 40. 28 and 40. Yeah, give me that. Right? Watch this. The, God determines everything. He created you. He created you, but you come here as a slave. I believe he created some girls to like girls, some boys like Where'd you get that from? Show me the scripture. He made us. Show me the scripture. Yeah, Ecclesiastes 7.29, right? Give me pants first. I want pants first, right? I want pants first. Let me show you something, sis, because you know where you learned that? Here. No, nope, here. After you was beat across your back with a bull whip, your mother raped, your fathers and your uncles and your brothers castrated and raped themselves, all of that. As slaves on a white man's plateau, that's where you learned it. What you just said. What just came out your mind. Read it again. They're not paying attention. Verse 42. And thou shalt make them linen breeches to cover their nakedness from the loins even unto the thighs. Now, they shall reach. I'm sorry. Verse 41. No. So who are we talking about? Who's the Bible talking about right now? The sons, the sons, the boys, the men, the men. So we, I know we ain't taught nothing in these churches and religions that we in. Right. So we don't know that God is, has instructions for everything he told us to do. That's right. He has judgments for everything he told us not to do. Right. He didn't just create us and walk off. No, he created us and said, this is what you do, and this is what you don't do. Just right. like if, when you have a child, you're not just going to have a child and leave him somewhere and walk off. You're going to teach him, raise him, take care of him. God had no difference in mind for us. 
He gave us laws. He gave us a way to be. He gave us his way to be. Right. Right? Come on, finish. Finish. Was that it on that? <coughs> so the breaches belong to the men. Go back to Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Go back to Deuteronomy. I got one more for you, sis. I know. It's going to be fast. To read that again. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Come on. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Just like the woman not supposed to wear what pertains to a man, I can't be out here dressed like my sister uh, uh, Stephanie. The same way. The same way. Because guess what, uh, Mackenzie and, and Jalea? If I had that in mind, that's what's good and right. And everybody else, right? Everybody else had your good, your good way to be in mind. Y'all good way to be in mind. You wouldn't exist right now, Malia or uh, Jaleel or McKay. Right. You wouldn't exist right now. You would not exist. And guess what it means if everybody from this point takes that same mentality? Everybody will die. That's right. You will annihilate. That's genocide. Right. That state of mind is death. That's what that is. That's what that is. But America has taught you, don't keep, do, YOLO. You only live once, DOLO. Do, what's the DOLO mean? Do everything, whatever feels good to you. Whatever you like to do. Which is self and hatred of your people. That's right. right. That's what that is. That lifestyle genders death. That's it. That's all. God created the woman to do what? To do what? Reproduce. Well, carry. Same as men, right, carry. And the same for men. When those two come together, now the earth is being replenished. That's right. That's the natural way. Bring it up. Say it again. Give me that scripture. That's true. We got to help them, sister. We got to be accountable. We got to get our, hold on, stay with me. Yep, now you're talking about grown teens, right? You have to be accountable for not only yourself, Julia, but guess what? Also your people. Right. You gotta love your people too. Right. Our people crazy, we gotta do what? Love them, get them together. Not just, oh, you're wrong, the way you live is evil and walk up. No, come on, come to the school, we gonna teach you. We gonna build you up. That's right. You gonna learn what God said, not a bunch of opinions. Not a bunch of, just like my sister right here said, she don't like murder, she don't think that's good. But my opinion would be what? I like murder, I think it's good. So how we got two different, which one is right? Who's right? Who's wrong? So the standard must be God's word. Well, that's the right. Bible, the right. laws of God. Right. right. And guess what else? Those are actually what get us to the kingdom of heaven too. Right. Would you look at that? Two for one deal right there. Two for one deal right there. I know y'all gotta go watch this. Ecclesiastes 729. You listen carefully. Ma, ma, ma Jalea and Mackenzie. I'm sorry, I keep forgetting. Jalea and Mackenzie, my sisters. Come on, watch this. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 29. Come on. Lo, this only, this only have I found. Come on. That God hath made man upright. God made man upright. God made man upright. Your creator didn't create you with this in mind. Your creator created you perfect. Perfect, without flaw. Come on. But. They have sought out many inventions. But mankind has sought out many inventions. God didn't do that, uh, Jalea. God didn't do that. He didn't make some of them this way and some of them, nope. God was perfect in his way. God was perfect in what he created. Right. And he created what he, in his perfection, something that was perfect. That's right. right. Pay attention. There's nothing back there for y'all. Pay attention. Uh, Malia and Mackenzie, Mackenzie and Jalea. Right? Come on. I'm sorry. We meet so, I meet so many people every day. I'm sorry. All right? No, no. That's it. No. No, no, no. All right. So uh, guess what? You need to have, you need to come back to the laws of God. You need to repent and come back to the laws of God. That's who you are. Right? My, 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 come here. My, 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 what did you say? Okay. Hey, listen. You're right about that. You're right about that. But guess who might meet you before you're ready? Get out. Mm. Guess what I mean? If a car, because y'all refuse to come out the street, if a car come past here, and God forbid, right? And you don't make it, right? Were you ready to, to, to change? No, you weren't, sister. What'd that mean for my sister? Watch this. It's not up to you, my sister. You didn't bring you into this world. You understand? 
You don't choose, who, choo who just chooses, okay, yeah, today I'm gonna die, and I'm not gonna take another breath. I'm not talking about suicide, right? Because you ain't talking about suicide. But I'm talking about who chooses, who just chooses, today will be my last. James 4, 15. 4, Watch this, start at 13 though, something like that. Watch this. James chapter 4, verse 13. Go to now, yet they say. No. Yet that say. No, read it right. Go to now, ye that say. Excuse me, you people that say. Go ahead. Today or tomorrow. Today or tomorrow, when I feel like it. Come on. We will go into such a city. Come on. And continue there a year. Uh -huh. And buy and sell. Uh -huh. And do what we want. I'll get right when I feel like it. On what you say, when I'm ready. Right? Come on. And get gain. Whereas you know not what shall be on the morrow. You don't know if you're going to be here, sis. You don't right. know when the Lord is going to come and call for your soul. You don't know, sister. So I'm warning you. I'm telling you. I don't want nothing to happen to you. Right. You understand? I want your soul to be saved. That's right. I want Mackenzie to be example to the rest of her people. That's right. How to live eternal life. How to get back to being gods on this earth. Right. That's why we were created. We were not created to die. We got to think bigger than the little ways we were given here in Babylon. We got to think bigger than that. Finish that and then give me Proverbs 1. Come on. For what is your life? It is even a vapor that appear for a little time. Come on. And then vanish away. Come on. For what you ought to say, if the Lord will. If the Lord wills. It's not up to you, Mackenzie. It's if the Lord wills. So what I'm telling you, because I don't know what the Lord going to will for my sister. Only thing I know, I don't want you to die. I want you to return back to who you actually are. Right. Your heritage. You're not a Puerto Rican, right? You're an Ephraimite. If your father is, if you know that your father is a so-called African-American, right, or a black, or he was brought here a slave, or his ancestors was brought here a slave, you'll be of the tribe of Judah. That's what God, your creator, calls you. Not a Negro, not a Spick, whatever they call, uh, uh, not a Puerto Rican, which means rich port. You're not a rich port. You understand? You're an Ephraimite. You're a royal people. You're right. from a royal lineage. That's right. That's who you actually are. Not a slave. You're a slave because of the decisions that you made, the choices that you made. You understand? That's what you are, and that's what I want for you, Mackenzie. That's what I want for you, Jaleel. That's what I want for my brother Carl. That's what I want for uh, 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 my sister right here. Right? Get, now give me, uh, now give me that. If the Lord wills, if the Lord wills, what did I ask? You? Right, we are going to my house, but I All right, I understand. Sis. I Listen to this as y'all go. Okay. Oh, but Listen to this as y'all go. Come on, one in twenty-six, one in twenty, one in twenty. Come on, Proverbs chapter one, verse twenty. Now this is this is what the Lord, the Lord calls the ways that we've been taught as slaves. The Lord calls these ways simple, simple, meaning they're dumb. These ways that we've been taught as slaves in Babylon or America are all garbage. Right, they're dumb. God don't like these ways. Watch this. This is why He calls us this. Watch this. Wisdom cry about. Excuse me. Wisdom cry about. She uttered her voice in the streets. Wisdom is talking to you in the streets. Wisdom utters her voice to you in the streets. Watch this, come on. She crieth in the chief place of concourse. The chief place of concourse meaning wherever it is that we're gonna be able to meet all our people at. She cried, that wisdom of God cries out in the street, in the chief places or wherever all of our people at, come on. In the openings of the gates. Come on. In the city, she utter for words. In the city, not the building. Learning lies with idols on the walls. Right. right. In the streets is where you're going to get the wisdom of That's God. Right. Come on. Saying, how long, ye simple ones. Saying, how long, ye simple ones. Simple means dumb. Simple means not intelligent. God says, how long, ye simple ones. Come on. Will you love simplicity? Will you love simplicity? These ways that this world then taught us, these words, the ways that these lying churches teach us are simple. They're dumb. They don't help our lives. All the things happening, think about it like this. Since we got off the slave ships, we've had Christianity. What has changed for our people? Bring it out. We still kill each other. We still dealing with homosexuality. We still dealing with rape. We still dealing with baby mamas, baby daddies. We still dealing with all of that. Nothing has fixed us. So God says, how long ye simple ones when you love simplicity? Come on. And the scorners delight in their scorning. Some people want to fight us. Some people want to talk SH about the word of God. That's some people. Come on. 
And the fools hate knowledge. And fools hate knowledge. So my sisters, y'all still here and y'all listen. I know it wasn't comfortable. I know it wasn't comfortable. But fools hate knowledge. Y'all ain't no fools. You got the flyer? Come up to show up at the school, sister. All right, bring the sisters too. Tell them we make sure we, they know we love them. We want to see their souls saved. That's right. That's right. All right. Yeah, I know you do. That's you, mama. So all praise. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.